everyone, this is Katie Ann with DeNova Nutrition and today I'm going to be reviewing what I use for blood flow restriction training, quick release tourniquets for my upper body and knee wraps for my lower body. Blood flow restriction training is something that I incorporate into my training program very frequently and is a scientifically proven method in order to reach hypertrophy without using a large percentage of your one rep max. So essentially you're able to reach hypertrophy on whatever exercise that you choose while still using a low percentage of your one rep max and avoiding quite a bit of muscle damage that can be associated with accessory work. So I prefer to add in blood flow restriction training if I'm feeling beat up during my training program, if I wanna add in an additional exercise, but I still wanna use a light load, and I don't wanna tax my, tax my body with a high percentage of my one rep max. So for upper body, what you'll use are quick release tourniquets. These can be found on Amazon. You can order these for just a few dollars each. So you'll just probably type in the keywords quick release tourniquets and you should have multiple options pop up. They're very inexpensive. And so when you get these devices, what you'll see is that you have um, a clip and usually when you get them, this clip will be in near where the other side is where you will wrap around your arm and clip it. So what I like to do is I like to tie um, the one end of my, of my tourniquet the far end away from where this part is. So this end, and then when you put it around your arm, you will release this to the other side, and I then snap it together to create a loop. So then when you put it around your arm, you will want this band to be facing away from you in order to be able to pull it on your arm successfully and to have it in a good position. So here, as you can see, I have it facing away towards me and I'm just going to tighten it until I see a blood shift. So if you look at my arm here, you'll see a little bit of a blood shift or a fluid shift in my arm and in my, in my bicep vein. So not terribly tight where you feel like it's cutting off your circulation, but tight enough where you can feel that fluid shift. So then on the other side, I will, I will do the same thing. I will clip it, make a loop, put it around my arm, put it right underneath my shoulder and tighten it. For upper body training, you will always want to restrict right below your shoulder and right above your bicep. You will never want to wrap anywhere else. So for lower body, what you'll use are knee wraps. So these are just general knee wraps that you can also order off Amazon. I ordered these, I think they're about $25 um, in standard knee wraps. So for lower body, blood flow restriction, you will be wrapping above your quad and um, right below your glutes. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can wrap your legs as well. You'll want, the, it's the same idea in terms of tightness for your upper body and your lower body. You wanna wrap tight enough where you feel like it's, it's you know, about a 70% um, not at 100% where you feel like your leg circulation is being cut off, but at about 70%. And so it's tight enough where you feel it, but it's not so tight that you feel like your, your leg circulation is being cut off. So I will demonstrate that for you now. So you will wrap right above your quad and right below your glute. And you will just take one side and wrap it right there. And you wanna make sure that you tuck it in and secure it right here in order to avoid it coming undone while you're doing the exercise. Now for lower body, this is the only place that you will wrap. You will not wrap below your knees. If you're doing calves, you will still wrap in the exact same spot. So now I'm going to demonstrate a couple exercises for you guys and how I incorporate this for upper body and for lower body. So for each exercise that you perform blood flow restriction on, you will want to do one set of 30 followed by three sets of 15. And in between sets, you do not wanna unwrap your legs or your upper body, and you wanna take about 30 seconds rest between each set. So one set of 30, 30 seconds rest, one set of 15, 30 seconds rest, and then two more sets of 15 with 30 seconds rest in between this, those two sets as well. I would recommend incorporating blood flow restriction into your training program if you are looking to add in more volume without a taxing load on your body and without a lot of muscle damage. So it's a very effective way in increasing volume 
without a lot of, of the negative effects that can be associated with using a higher percentage of your one rep max, especially when you're adding in accessory work for bodybuilding or to bring up your lagging body parts um, for whatever sport you might be in. So if it's a physique sport, then it's a good way to add in extra volume without the wear and tear on your body. So I hope this was helpful for you guys and definitely check out DeNova Nutrition for more helpful reviews, for more information on products that may be helpful for your training program or your life. So thanks, have a great day.